the man himself, the great Tony Bruno, live from the state of Florida. What up, yo? Good morning. What up? And thank you for joining me today. Yes. By the way, I got to get this out of the way. You know how they have those meetings and then they have to get rid of old business first before they commence? <laughs> yeah. I want to know why Don Stenslin does not follow me on my new Twitter. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, An outrage. Don, not, you better keep your mouth she, closed. Neither Dawn nor her husband, Larry Menti, who I've given major props to in, during my five-month Twitter ban, <laughs> are following me. And I want answers. Dawn, this, this, <laughs> trust me, having worked with this individual, if you're not following him, he, he's Tony, got an issue with you. Tony, I've worked with Dawn for nine years. I think year seven, she finally followed yeah, me on Twitter. My defense attorney. Yeah. <laughs> How are your I legal fees? I thought that I did. I'm sorry. You know what? I have something wrong with my screen, yeah, so that's why I can't, screen. like, I can't push six. Uh, yeah. screen. And I guess, I don't know, I guess I thought I had followed you. At Tony Bruno right Nation, now. I believe, correct? <laughs> Tony Bruno Nation, yes. yes. I'm up uh, almost, I'm, I'm up to uh, eight over 800 followers. Right? I, I know Greg <laughs> likes to keep track of, the, I even put a like in. When, when, <laughs> see, I'm a, when I'm on a program, I'm a team guy. I heard exactly. you talking about it earlier, Nick. Yes. You know, when you say like the show, I like the show. Thank you. I so appreciate it. I'm sitting it. here an hour and a half before the show just listening and absorbing all of the content. You know? <laughs> we have content? I didn't know we did that here, sir. <laughs> Speaking of content, uh, Trump's a guy that gives us a lot of content. I'm, surprised, I'm guessing you're not shocked in, in the least about what's transpired in Georgia with the latest indictment. Your thoughts? Of course not. I mean, uh, wait a minute. So Bob, Boss Hog, I gotta find out what's the deal with this Boss Hog dude. I don't know. Uh, there's, some, yeah, there's some, yeah, there's some, there's some trolls on the, uh, on the YouTube yeah, chat. You just have thing. to, either ignore him or you call him out. Or you let him bother you like Greg does. <laughs> no, he doesn't bother me. I just wanted to know what his story was, if you knew him, if he was a, a troll. But anyway, here's the deal. What was the deal? Actually, no, uh, Trump was just indicted for a fifth time for you not answering. Yeah, but it's only Wednesday. Let's wait till Friday. Whatever right? state is ready to indict. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, let's be honest. Yes. I got a question now. Here's a question. Yes. What do the Phillies, the Philadelphia Union, and the Women's Australian World Cup team have in common this morning? Uh, the, the, Nick they, Hale has talked about them. They, oh, no, they, no, 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 no. <laughs> they all vote Democrat. They, no, they all only scored once last night. Oh, I scored oh, once oh, last night. Oh, I was even trying. All I had to do was make dinner. Oh, hi for Miss Robin last night. Oh wow! So, in the Dutch oven. Oh, the, no, I, well, no, I actually went. I went in the oven. I roasted some beautiful chicken thighs. I posted oh, it on mm. Twitter. That's a good thing. I can post yeah. food now on Twitter since, you know, posting food on Facebook is so like. 2018 yeah you know now you post your dinner that you make right on on twitter before you get banned again did you, you know did saying? you cook that on the ronco cooker set it and forget no, it? i put it in the oven i got honey roasted garlic Ooh. And, and and all fresh not garlic powder yep. not uh, rosemary flakes i mean i went out in the garden and picked the fresh rosemary and the gar and the uh, and all the other ingredients on my patio a garden out here the in garden of Southwest Bruno. florida yes mm, exactly right it's delicious i'm looking at it yeah. Oh, you are. So she's looking at it. So she's following you, Tony. I'm following yeah, you him. Hit that follow button. <laughs> I did. Smash the subscribe button. I did. Say, uh, say, the, say the handle one more time, Tony. <laughs> Tony Bruno Nation. Okay. Tony Bruno now, I'm Nation. I'm still being throttled because I like a couple of tweets. And once I tweeted last night when I saw Kareem Jean Pierre, did you talk about that this morning? <laughs> Tweeting for Joe Biden and then said, oops. Now I know they pulled the curtain back. Yes. And we now know that Corinne Jean Pierre is actually tweeting as Joe That's Biden. Amazing. I know, and if she got grilled about it, she would have said this. I would refer you to that. <laughs> <laughs> and then she deleted the tweet when everybody on earth said, Wait a minute, why is she tweeting as the president? Yes. So it's, if people weren't paying attention to this yesterday, you know, I guess they have multiple uh, Twitter accounts under the same account, and you can flip from one to the next. Yeah. And when you do that, you better make sure you're under the right profile to post a message or something's going to go terribly wrong. And somebody screenshotted that, correct? Yes, and that's all over. And the interesting thing is, I'm sure if I, I wonder what she'll say when someone asks her, why she was tweeting as President Biden last night while he's on his way to Lake Tahoe or wherever else instead of Hawaii. 
And then she can, she will answer it this way. I'm not going to get beyond that. She's not going to get beyond that tone. Maybe <laughs> she, maybe she was the one in Fulton County that posted the indictment too soon <laughs> online. Oh, How can you imagine? Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, speaking of females, I, I, you want to talk about a courageous female? I love this story about Sage Steele, the Sports Center anchor. Uh, for yep. those that don't pay attention to ESPN because nobody watches it anymore, Sage Steele was one of the best Sports Center anchors, African American female, but she doesn't fit what the left wants. She's an African American female who's a conservative, who's a Republican, and she's the one who stood up to Bristol, Connecticut, and ESPN and said, No, I'm not going to adhere to your COVID vaccine mandate. She challenged it. She's in court. She gets a settlement. And the courageous thing is she spoke up back when that was viewed to be courageous because you're going against the grain. And, Tony, she's walking away from a 16-year relationship where she was making $3 million a year, and she stood up for what she believed in, and now she won. I love this story, and she's going to go on and probably do something bigger and better. Absolutely, and you're right about loving it because here she is, as you mentioned, a woman of color, which seems to be in a, but nobody defends people of color when they don't agree with the you know with with the consensus is that all black people only vote for Democrats and we're 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 the people out there we're all the columnists defending stage Sage Steele for walking away. I know many women at ESPN having been there for a long time who are suing ESPN who have walked out rather than continue to work for a company that forced people to take the vaccines which we now knew. You know, now know after all the effects, the ivermectin and all this other stuff, you know, all the conspiracy theorists and the COVID deniers. And as I mentioned, I've, had, I've been twice vaccinated and I had major side effects, but I don't care. I did it because I thought it was right. But now all these people who are suing ESPN and a former NBA official who's suing, the, the NBA, suing Disney, suing ABC and suing the government because they have all been forced to leave their jobs for not taking the vax. Yeah. And these people work there. Beth Faber, one of the producers, one of the original producers at ESPN Radio, she's out of work because she refused the vaccine, and they will not listen. So she's part of a lawsuit where many females and males at ESPN, but primarily females, are suing the company because they, their careers were ruined, and people like Beth you know, don't have the high profile of a Sage, sage Steel. But they're not even getting recognized. She went to Congress. She was at, at one of the hearings for one of the other female anchors at ESPN, one of the other female reporters who's suing. And they're just going to, you know, you know what they're going to do at Disney at ESPN. They're just going to let this thing go on and on and on and eventually hope these people stop because it costs money to keep fighting major corporations. And they're just hoping to make these people go broke uh, rather than continue the fight against these big, powerful companies. And, you know, I'm a Disney, I'm a stockholder. Yep. I have a pension from Disney, so I'm not a Disney hater. I just want to see people get compensated for what they, were, what, what they were forced to do against their will. What happened to my body, my choice? Mm -hmm. What happened to that? Yeah, exactly right. Tony Bruno with us, 841 here on this Wednesday morning, live from the great state of Florida. Follow him on Twitter, at Tony Bruno Nation, uh, and I believe Dawn has followed you now. Now we need Don. Don yep. needs to start retweeting his posts, I know. liking him, commenting. You need to appease Tony Bruno. You got to stroke uh, the ego but, here, Don. Uh, there's an important. No, 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 I only am allowed to post a few times, a couple of times a day, oh. and then all of a sudden, I when I when I like something, if I like like five things, like because there's a lot of likes out there, yeah. like like, and when you, like, when like. you do something, and then all of a sudden it comes up. This appears to be a bot. Uh -huh. So I, I, I'm gonna I, I'm 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 gonna. Uh, uh, a restrictor plate like they had a NASCAR. <laughs> well, I am I too, but that's why I hit a certain number of likes <laughs> or tweets. I get shut down. <laughs> this appears to be coming from a bot. Yeah, you're so, on. A, you're on a pitch count, much like I yeah. am, courtesy of Greg Stalker. Exactly <laughs> right. So, so because I haven't subscribed and given Elon Musk eight dollars a month, <laughs> mm -hmm. I am on a pitch count. I'm on a restrictor plate. Yep. And again, that's fine. But now, at least I'm on there, and I can I can see what's going on, and I can promote being on this show. And all of the other wonderful things I do here, but but get, get let's get back to De DeSantis because you know yeah. here in Florida I want to I want to first of all congratulate President Biden. President Biden is the most consistent president in the history of this country because last year when we had a hurricane that devastated a lot of Fort Myers and here in Cape Coral where I live, 
President Biden sent us all seven hundred dollar checks. <laughs> now Australia's uh, that Maui, not all of Australia, but Maui is devastated. And Joe Biden yesterday, Hawaii. What did I say? Maui is in Hawaii, Robin. Uh oh. I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm, my mind on us. I'm thinking of that powerlifting bro who just beat women by like three hundred pounds. <laughs> And I'm thinking of the Matildas, who just yeah. lost as the what, home nation. What is she? Do? What is she? The fact chick. checker back there? She is. We got. There's yeah, another fact, fact checker. I didn't, I didn't know that you married um, uh, uh, Brian Stelter. <laughs> oh, she's the microphone checker too. Yeah, we my, have to do well, that every Wednesday she, before. She's on. Hello, hello, hello. She's also the chicken checker. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? No, I. He didn't. said chicken thighs, oh. chicken breasts. Oh. You're being called no, out on Twitter. Chicken thighs. I said. They were chicken thighs. No, All they're right. saying they look like breasts. Tony, are, are you a, are you like breasts? Those are some big thighs. You know I love big thighs. I was I just going to say, lie. are you a leg man I'm or a breast man, like Tony? I love big <laughs> thighs and I cannot lie. You other brothers can they not. Hungry. Those aren't big breasts. They're big thighs. Yes. They're big thighs. Oh, so where were we? Uh, DeSantis, uh, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about President Biden sending all those people in Maui $700 checks. So now if your land is devastated, everything is ruined. And by the way, I went out and bought generators and all the other things to keep the power on, you know, because we knew the hurricane was coming. So everybody ran out and bought generators because yeah. we knew power was going to go out, and it did. And we're almost a year later from the hurricane that devastated a lot of southwest Florida, yep. and then we've rebuilt. So the bottom line is, you know, why? where do you get $700? And by the way, FEMA was supposed to you know, reimburse you for stuff. Yeah. I sent all my bills. I bought, I bought a $900 generator. These are things you have to do to get ready for a natural disaster, right? Yeah. You prepare for hurricanes because you know they're coming. Nobody was prepared in, in Hawaii for what happened in Maui. And now those people, and you, you look at the money. Somebody broke it down. I didn't write it down. I should have. The number of people, I think there's 13,000 people who lived on Maui, right, yep. in that area that mm -hmm. was devastated. $700 a piece is not even like $20 million. Yeah. It's like it's, it's less than even, It's way less than that. It's less than and 10% he's, that he's Ukraine just got. about sending them $700 when they lost yeah. everything, and yet – uh, Zelensky farts, and he sends him another two hundred billion. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's I mean, unbelievable. it's unbelievable. It is. And people said people fall for this stuff. Seven hundred dollar checks, and yep. you're supposed to say, "Oh, gee, thank you, right. Joe. Exactly. Thank you so much. Exactly. What a benevolent guy." And then Obama's on from his house in uh, it, one of his the house that doesn't have any any. The one up in, in Cape, wherever the hell he is, up in the Cape. <laughs> Martha's Vineyard. Martha's Vineyard. Yeah, don't place. worry about about the, the the oceans rising and everybody being blown away <laughs> on beachfront mansions. And he's got a mansion in Hawaii that he goes on and asks people to send them money. <laughs> <laughs> what about your money, Barack? Yeah. What about uh, Oprah's money? And now these people are buying property and forcing all these poor people to live. And you can't be poor and live in Hawaii because everything's expensive. It's more expensive there than it is in California because everything has to be shipped over there. <laughs> but anyway, enough about that. It's a joke. <laughs> Anybody who just is this dense and actually thinks that this is a good thing, you need to have your heads examined because I'm tired of both parties. I'm sick. The election's over a year away. Amen, brother. I'm already brother. sick of hearing all of this crap. Day after day out. And by the way, Chris Christie, <laughs> are you going to bring that beach chair to the <laughs> debate when you're sitting there? Somebody if, should. If Chris Christie brings uh, and sits in the, and gets up on a bridge. They should yeah. they could cons construct a bridge. You know, the one that Joe Biden saw fall <laughs> in Pittsburgh when he was there? Not a joke. The one he saw crash down? He's losing his mind. I, it, it, folks, I, I, I've heard combining I, all the stories this morning. I, I love it. I've heard he was this paying attention. Before. I've heard yeah. all this before, but usually it was about the Eagles, and he was sick, <laughs> he's sick of talking about Andy Reid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so let's get it back to the Eagles, Tony. No, yeah, let's get it tomorrow night. Cleveland Eagles, your thoughts. Uh, I'm going to wait for Stalker to give his FanDuel selection. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll, move the, I'll move the line accordingly by to the, my $25 bet. By the way, Nick, we should, uh, we should show Tony the power of Kale & Company, and we, we should, should let – we should – we should make everybody let's let's help Tony get to one thousand Twitter followers, yes, right? Exactly. I mean, it's 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 unbelievable that you had like 
you had like 80,000 followers and now you have you know you're begging for a thousand <laughs> uh but just, you know how you tie guys like you got the 4200 subscribers yep. Yep. and when you ask for things you know the peop the people of Philadelphia they do you know, and people listening all over on the Odyssey app yep. yeah they come forth you have to uh absolutely, you're, they, you're like a hundred and, and I'm not even asking for money <laughs> just follow me so that I can feel better about life. You're at like uh, you're 150 or so away from 1,000. So at Tony Bruno Nation, at Tony Bruno Nation, uh, follow Tony. Let's help him get to a thousand followers. Right. If I don't get a thousand followers by the end of the show, I may go on a <laughs> hunger strike. <laughs> <laughs> a hunger strike. Week, yes. Uh, I'll chain myself to uh, to uh, the interstate, uh, Alligator Alley here. On my way to Miami next week. Beautiful. I, I've got to get your thoughts on this story because you, you've you been in this market. You've worked in it. You've lived in it. You've been in Philly. You've been in Florida. You've been in L.A. You've been in Alabama. You've been in the Bay Area. Did you see the story in San Francisco where now they are saying, you know, it's okay to go work remotely from home. It's not because of COVID. It's because of the crime in your safety in the downtown areas. That city is so bad right now. They want you to work remotely because you might not make it in safely. It's sad to say because, you know, I love San Francisco. It's one of the most beautiful places on earth. And I, I was there all the time doing stuff on local radio for 17 years yeah. at KNBR. And I never lived in San Francisco, but I had friends. I'd stay up there. I'd go every weekend doing the Raiders postgame show for a few years up there, flying in from L.A., which is a short flight. But the, the bottom line is what you're seeing now, and it's the Nancy Pelosi Federal Building they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Right in front of the building named after Nancy Pelosi, people can't get in. The crime, it's not even crime, it's just... You know, and then Jim Kenney's talking about last night. I saw, well, we've, got, we've awarded more grants last night. They have, like, a lottery. Oh, we're giving away yeah. the, the latest bingo. It was my Tuesday night bingo with Jim Kenney. Well, we've awarded another, the latest batch of grants for people in Kensington who are concerned about the problems. He doesn't mention what the problems are. You know, the problems like the people walking around like zombies were all you see on national news now. Even people in foreign countries are looking at K and A in that area where all the poor, helpless people are on the streets, walk like the Walking Dead. If they do another Walking Dead reboot, they'll just put cameras down at Kensington, <laughs> showing all these poor people. And you know what Jim Kenny's answer is? We need to have safe needle injection sites. Let's put more safe injection sites up there. Yeah. It's ridiculous, man. It's an outrage. And if DeSantis was paying attention to the show this morning, if he would just bring it like Tony Bruno has been bringing it yeah. for the last exactly. uh, 19 minutes, he'd be polling above 19%. <laughs> One thing I can assure you, I will never hand out hard-boiled eggs on a stick to try to get people to follow me on Twitter. Did you see that? No. And I love Ron DeSantis. I think people, in, people here in Florida, because I live – I live in Lee County, which is probably the most red county in the nation. And mm -hmm. I didn't move here because it's a red county. I moved here because I can afford land yeah. so I could build a damn house to retire. <laughs> but the bottom line is, there's, there's Ron DeSantis. My least favorite food is hard-boiled eggs. Aww. And if you have to pander and put hard-boiled eggs on sticks and hand them out to people for votes... That's not good. Yeah, you put a little not, mustard. I like you all kinds put a, of eggs. Yeah, you got to put a I little like, I like fried eggs. I like poached eggs. I like them sunny side up. I like them flipped over easy. Yeah, a little But so. I do not like hard-boiled eggs. I don't know why, but that, to me, that, that – and the people here in Florida who love DeSantis mm -hmm. are all disappointed because they thought he was going to wait and then run in 2028. 20, uh, yeah. He promised the people after he won. So I think a lot of people here in, in Florida, they don't hate Ron DeSantis, but they're like, what are you doing, man? Yeah. What are you doing? Not this to is mention, not the time. yeah, Trump's the most popular figure in the state of Florida. By the way, do you like deviled eggs? No, I don't like deviled. I don't like any Mustard. kind of egg where the yolk is hard, and then they put mayonnaise. I don't like any kind of salads, egg salad, potato salad, German potato salad. Yeah. Anything cold with, especially eggs. Cold eggs, I mean, that's just, <laughs> that's an outrage. Seriously, come on. <laughs> All right. I got to ask wow. you, they got to hit you with the most important question of the day. We've covered all the non-relevant stuff. Vanna White gone from the Wheel yes. of Fortune amidst contract negotiations. I believe, I, what was it, seven and a quarter million dollars she either wanted or was getting and it wasn't enough. I mean, I'm a capitalist. Get everything you can. But, Tony Bruno, your thoughts on that? And have they reached out to you to possibly work with Pat Sajak? 
Pat Sajak's gone. It's, oh, he's gone too? Know, Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest. Remember, oh, you knew this. Ticked off oh, yes, Ryan I did know that. Ryan You're right. got a gazillion dollars to be the new host. You're right. Good I for her. That. You know, I, they're going to have – I think Meghan Markle is available. I'm looking for possible replacements to turn the uh, <laughs> to, to turn the letters. Uh, and you don't even have to turn it anymore. She doesn't have to do anything. She just walks by. Yeah. And, so I'm thinking – Meghan Markle or the chick on the airplane that went crazy. <laughs> oh, the girl from Dallas. That chick. She should be on <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Or, or Ducey yeah. in the wig. In Ducey yes. in Stalker's wig. <laughs> exactly right. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, Bruno, good stuff as always, man. We've had so much serious. The last two days have been so heavy and serious with Trump oh, indictments. No. I needed to laugh and cry and uh, wet myself, so thank you. Oh. Well, no, thank you. I just hear that, you know, this is all about entertainment. Yes. See, uh, we deal with the facts. We, we cover the, we span the globe to bring you the constant variety, <laughs> the agony, the thrill of uh, victory, the agony of your feet. <laughs> and that's what we do here. Yes. Thank you very much, Tony. Thanks, guys. There he Thanks. is. Thanks, Dawn. I appreciate it. I feel better now. Now I can move on with the rest of my Wednesday. Tony <laughs> Bruno <laughs> Show on Facebook. Tony Br- oh, no, no, Tony, Tony Bruno, Bruno Nation. Nation. Sorry, Nation. Tony Bruno Nation, Nation. on you uh, on uh, Twitter. I have all my, I have all my <laughs> social media <laughs> things confused. Can we confused. stop getting our news uh, from Twitter? Follow him. Follow him. Let's get him to 1,000. Let's get him. Sorry. All right, there he is. And you could do a cooking show with Miss Robin. Yeah, I love yeah, that. By the I would way, walk- I, the German <laughs> potato salad does not have mayo. It has vinegar instead. So I, want, I stand corrected. Thank you. Mustard. I like that one. <laughs> <There he is. laughs> Goodbye, Tony.